any questions guys any questions any doubts no questions guys can you hear me hello yes yes okay fine right so uh, let me start the vm as discussed yesterday okay so i'll show you the um, security okay. concepts okay in a brief way how to create the logins how to give permissions on database tables and all okay then we'll jump into another session right okay so in the last class we discussed about logins security how to create a windows login how to create a sql login how to create a group login what are the prerequisites for creating a windows login what is the server role how many types of server roles are there and we also discussed about the customized server role and we discussed about the database rules and uh, we discussed how to give access on a database how to give access on a single table and also all these things we discussed right so yesterday i gave you a complete discussion about the security okay today whatever we discussed yesterday i am going to complete it in 5 to 10 minutes guys just a brief discussion okay generally we'll get a tickets okay people will raise their requests that i need permissions on this database i need permissions on this table 
so if anyone is asking permissions okay you have to remember two important things one is first ask them to get the approvals from their managers okay so if anyone if someone comes to you or if someone raises a request hey can you please give me access on phone pay database so if anyone comes to you and if anyone ask like that you cannot give the permissions immediately we don't know what is his responsibility we don't know why he want to access phone pay database right so if he is not belongs to the project and all if he doesn't need access and all still if he is raising then if you give the permission then it will become a problem for us as a dba so what you have to do especially for permission related tickets okay if anyone is asking permissions and all what you have to do you have to reply back to them okay we'll give you the permissions okay so before that we need a mail confirmation from your manager or team lead please attach the mail approvals of your manager or team lead in the ticket then we'll give the permissions without mail approvals not uh, verbal approvals guys mail approvals should be there written approvals should be there without mail approvals okay you cannot give access to anyone that is the process you have to follow that process don't know if someone comes to you hey please give me database please give me access on this database we are not sure whether why he is going to access the database whether that job responsibilities needs access on the database or simply he is asking to see the data and all so data should be secured right right so you have to in case if anyone is asking permissions what you have to do first thing is you have to ask them to raise a request second thing is attach the approval mails so this guy will go to the manager a manager will check why he need access if manager is okay then if manager approval is there then you can happily give the permissions and all no issues for us if any issue is there okay that manager will take care of that headache manager asked me to do give, to give the permissions so i gave the permissions manager means not our manager not dba team manager application team managers will be there okay so you have to request that user please attach your manager approvals so that we can proceed to give the permissions this is one thing you have to check before giving permissions why because generally in the organization auditings will happen guys auditings will happen auditings will be done regularly every quarterly or half yearly auditings will be done so in this auditings they will check what and all logins are there in the sql server what permissions are there for this sql server whether who who gave this permissions whether any ticket is there or not for this request that ticket is having manager approval or not so during auditings they will check all these things if there is no approval mails and all then definitely okay they will ask you why you gave the permissions without manager approvals so before giving permissions okay you have to ask the person those who raised the request you have to ask that person hey please get the manager approvals and attach that manager approval email in the ticket we will verify and will give the permissions accordingly like that you have to send an email that is first thing okay second thing is if anyone is asking permissions that doesn't mean immediately you have to create the login guys as discussed yesterday no need to create the login why because generally i told you we will follow group login concept so check with the colleagues whether they are following group login concept or not if they are following group login concept then tell the person in case if anyone is requesting access okay we'll give you the access do one thing go to the windows team and before that just check okay whether he is a part of any group login or not you have to check whether he is a part of any group login or not group logins will be there right might be a is a, of course if he is a part of group login you have to give access to this group not to individual person but if he feels that he needs a separate access instead of creating a separate login for him individual login for him ask him hey please go to the windows team raise a request to the windows team windows team has to create a one group login for you once that group login is created get back to me or get back to the dba team will give access to that group level logins even though only one person is there you have to ask that person to go to the windows team first windows team will create a group in the active directory as discussed yesterday in the active directory they will create a group in that group initially only one person may be there 
but later same kind of permissions they will request right so instead of creating individual logins if group is created later if anyone requesting same same kind of permissions we can you can request you can route him to the windows team windows team will add him into the group group login so automatically he will get the access okay so that's why group login is very important so our dba work will be okay uh, reduced if this group logins are there maintenance and all permissions and all nothing to worry so once group login is created in the future after one week one month one year also if anyone is looking for same kind of permissions or can someone ask can you please add me to this group then you have to request them we cannot add them we cannot add any people into the group guys this will be done by the windows team only so you can request them uh, you can tell the user that please go to the windows team ask them to add you into the specific group you have to give the group name then windows team will give the will will add the new person to the group so immediately that new person will get the uh, permissions of that group so no need to do anything from our side clear that's what we discussed yesterday right so let me quickly create a windows login sql login and uh, group login guys okay so for windows login what is the prerequisite can anyone tell me for windows login what is the prerequisite Hmm. Okay. Users, new user, okay. Let me check the users. Okay, let me create a user for madhavi okay madhavi one two three one two three create okay so for this madhavi uh, windows login if i want to create a windows login in the sql server for this user this is actually user okay windows user for this windows user if i want to create a windows login in the sql server as madhavi is already existed in the windows level so directly go to the sql server security logins new login choose windows application <laughs> change search here for madhavi madhavi and check names okay and click okay right if you want to add madhavi into any of the server roles like if you want to give sysadmin server role to madhavi you can select sysadmin if you once you gave the sysadmin no need to give any specific access here guys this is wrong actually this is wrong okay why because you already gave the sysadmin he is a he can access the whole server with the databases also okay so now once he is a part of sysadmin no need to give any other permissions even on databases also no need to give any specific permissions on databases also again okay once he is a part of sysadmin he can do everything he can access the server he can access all the databases he can access all the tables in all the databases guys once he is a part of sysadmin no need to give any access here in this space if he is not part of sysadmin then you have to give okay right so in this way i am i am giving uh, sysadmin access to madhavi so i i just created a madhavi user in the windows level then i am creating a windows login for madhavi in the sql server and uh, by that time itself i am i am giving access uh, i am i am adding madhavi into the sysadmin role so we can do like this guys okay so this is how we can so let me create a sql login new login okay so this time i am going to choose sql server authentication okay venkat sir here i am giving some strong password okay strong password 1 2 3 tab 1 2 3 strong password means minimum 8 one caps lock one caps one small one number you have to give okay so this time you want to give access to uh, venkat on any of the specific database how to do that venkat needs data reader permissions on gp database how to give data reader permissions on gp check gp data reader okay gp 
very good okay so here yeah, you have okay. to give the default schema default schema is generally dbo okay if you don't give generally sql server will give it's not mandatory see here whenever you are giving access to venkat login it is creating a user called venkat in which database gp database like this we have to give in case if they are looking for data writer you will select data writer in case if they are looking for db owner you can directly give db owner no need to give any other roles guys okay so in this way you can create a sql login and you can give the access group login you know right so we have to create a group so what i am going to do groups of course creating users creating groups is not our responsibility windows team will take care of it okay so this time i am i am creating only one group with one person okay uh, sql dba l2 okay so i am going to add madhavi to this role okay madhavi check names okay click okay and create done group is created for the same group what i am going to do i am going to create a new login for this sql db l2 <laughs> that is a windows login search and sql dba l2 and check names right so can anyone help me to troubleshoot this error how to fix this one you know the answer refresh refresh here i have to refresh sql go to object types object type object types check and groups okay very good okay okay and check names now you can see the sql db group so this time if you want to give access on any specific table or specific object or anything okay you want to give only a specific object then you can you can go to securables guys you can go to securables before going to securables what you can do you want to give a single access you want to give access on a single table uh, the table is present in batch 46 select the batch 46 okay here just give the dbo right so now what you can do you can click okay then then what you can do then you can directly go to the particular table or you can go to the user okay click okay and then what you can do go to uh, which database it is batch 46 right go to batch 46 and go to security <coughs> go to users you can see here l2 double click on l2 go to securables yeah securables and search you want to search all objects okay and tables you want to give access on a specific table right select tables you can see all the tables i want to give access on select table so you can see select permission you want to give if you want you can give update if you want you can give okay so insert delete whatever you want to want, you want to give you can give guys but it's not in your hands they have to tell us what permissions they need so based on that we are going to give the permissions okay so we don't decide what permissions and all we don't decide what permissions and all we have to give okay so generally Uh, they will let us know what permissions they need based on that only we are going to give the permissions okay right guys so this is how generally we have to give the access on a single object fine clear this is what we'll do in the organization guys that's it creating group login creating windows login creating a, a sql login giving permissions on a database giving permissions on a single table right this is what this is how we will do that's it that's all about the security whatever we discussed yesterday five hours okay that's all about this particular 10 minutes uh, brief discussion guys fine right chalo so what we can do now we'll discuss about the another topic backups and restores today we'll complete backups and restores guys so i told you as a dba it's our responsibility to maintain the server as most secured and safety should be there right secured till now we discussed about the security how you can secure the server okay by giving the enough permissions to the logins or users okay so that's how you are going to maintain the security of the server safety safety means what safety means what generally uh, we will use seat belts for the safety we will use helmets for the safety what it means if something happens it's going to save us right 
so in the same way for safety purpose we are going to use backups concepts guys so as a dba if you have any questions you can unmute or if you don't have any questions you can mute shravanti no sir you can continue okay right okay so safety safety is very important guys why because don't know next minute what will happen so it's our responsibility as a db it's our responsibility we have to maintain 100% safety to all the databases guys so how can we maintain the safety imagine if my database is corrupted how can you maintain the safety for the database so that's why I don't know which database when it will be corrupted so we cannot guess right so we'll take backups of all the databases regularly we'll do this activity we have to take backups for all the databases so backups are very important in case if something goes wrong the backups are there they are going to save us okay so for safety purpose generally we'll follow this backup concepts guys so we have different types of backups in sql server i'm sorry we have different types of backups in sql server nearly 11 backups are there guys 11 types we don't discuss all we'll discuss main types only so full backup differential backup log backup copy only backup copy only backup <coughs> copy only backup one akshay if you have any questions you can ask okay can unmute right copy only backup and uh, file or file group backup okay file or file group backup striped backup striped backup uh, mirror backup partial backup partial differential backup okay and finally cold backups okay so we have two types actually hot backups and cold backups hot backups means what cold backups means what so hot backups means backups that you can take if the database is online if the database is online then only we can take these backups tail log backup okay this is transaction log backup and this is tail log backup and this is tail log backup right so hard backups means what hard backups means the backups that you can take if the database is online okay so the backups that you can take if you see here all the databases are online so on this online databases you can take any of these 10 backups guys okay full differential log backup or transaction log backup copy only backup tail log backup file or file group backup striped backup mirror backup partial backup partial differential backup 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 cold backups okay for the cold backups back cold backups means the backups that you can take on the offline databases okay so on the offline databases only means before taking cold backups you have to keep the database offline then only cold backups are possible cold backups are nothing but whenever you create a database two files will be created right for batch 46 two files will be there data file and log file okay so copying the files physically for example in which location i can see the backup files see program files not backup files data files okay instance root directory ms sql data so you can see right all the databases data files and log files you can see copying these physical files manually right click copy and you are pasting somewhere that is called cold backups guys okay copying the physical backups manually so that is called cold backups okay so what error you are getting the action can't be completed because the files is open in sql server so this is the error that we will get when we are doing cold backups why because imagine your work your notebook or notepad is opened guys one of the notepad or word document is opened and you are trying to move that 
word document from one location to another location is it possible you opened the document and you are trying to copy the same document to another location is it possible guys anyone tried No, it's not. It's not possible, right? So what error they will get? The file is in use. Okay, the file is in use in the same way. Now the files, batch forty six data files and log files are in use. Use means what? They are connected to the SQL server. They are connected to the SQL server. They are open in the SQL server, guys. They are online means currently the files are open to write. so they are open they are currently in use so that you cannot copy the files to different location you cannot copy physical files to different location so that's why okay for cold backups how can i fix this issue i have to bring the database offline so if i bring the database offline automatically i can move the files so that is called cold backups so for cold backups we have to bring the database offline earlier i am unable to move right this time i can move guys okay this is the one right now let me try again let me minimize minimize right this is the one open now let me try again this time it will copy see here till now the database is online that's why i cannot copy now once the database is offline i am able to copy the files to different location okay so this is called cold backups cold backups means copying the files physically from one location to another location to do that you have to bring the database offline okay so again if you want to you can bring the you can take the database online guys but only for generally we don't take the cold backups guys 99 percentage we don't take any cold backups why because to take the cold backups you have to bring the database offline database offline means application will be offline application will be down application down means revenue loss okay fine right let's discuss about the our hard backups guys there is an exception for resource database on resource database only cold backups are possible on resource database only cold backups are possible okay uh, no need to bring the resource database offline there is an exception interview interview question guys so what type of backups i can take on resource database you cannot take any backups any hard backups you can take only one backup that is cold backup so what is meant by cold backup copying the files physically from one location to another location is called cold backups okay on resource database you can take only cold backups fine so let's discuss about the full backups full backups are main backups guys very important backups the name itself is saying full backup means full database backup guys so whenever i took this full backup it will take the backup of all the data files and all the log files in case if multiple log files are there generally only one log file will be there but whenever we take the full backup it will take the backup of all the files guys data files log files whatever files are there all the files it will take the backup so generally you can take the backup either using query or you can use gui method also to take the full backup what full backup will do it will take the backup of whole database including data file and log file in the log file what kind of transactions will be there guys in the log file what kind of transactions will be there can anyone tell me we have already discussed about this transactions the log file what kind of transactions will be there temporary temporary any other word committed and uncommitted transactions okay committed and uncommitted transactions will be there in the log file so it will take the full backup will take the backup of the data files and it will take the backup of log files in the log file also committed transactions and uncommitted transactions it will take the backup of committed and uncommitted transactions guys okay your your full backup will take the backup of committed and uncommitted transactions right generally depends upon the backup size full backup take uh, more time guys full backup take more time okay generally depends upon the backup size if the backup if the database size is uh 1 tb 2 tb 
generally guys in the organization 3 TB databases 10 TB databases also will be there 5 10 TB database 15 TB database also will be there guys okay 15 terabytes of database means lot of time it will take generally any maintenance operations will take lot of time on a big database so it's very common terabytes of databases are very common in the organization you can see 1 2 3 TB databases and all okay so generally full backup has to take backup of all the files right so it will take some time when compared to other backups full backup will take some time guys so how to take full backup in gui right click tasks backup okay so right click let me show you again right click on the database tasks backup okay so you can see the options here so you are taking backup database backup right for batch 46 right you can select the batch 46 now if you want to change you want to take backup of gpay you can select this database okay you can see all the databases what database you want to take the backup select that particular database backup type what type of backup you want to take i want to take full backup other than that i can see three other backups full differential log based on the full backup only i can take all other backups guys this is mandatory point based on the full backup only i can take all other backups without uh, without taking full backup i cannot take a differential backup or log backup or any backup simply you will get the error okay there is no current full backup for this database so full backup is mandatory for the for any database guys full backup is mandatory for any database without taking full backup other backups are not possible you cannot perform other backups so select full backup I'll explain there is a separate backup type copy only backup so you want to take the backup direct to full database or files and file group backups I'll explain about files and file groups also there is a separate backup files and file groups simple files and file groups let me explain now itself database if you choose database means it will take the backup of all the files no I don't want to take the backup of all the files I want to take a specific file backup yes you can do that select files and file groups what file you want to take whether batch 46 data file or log file I have only one data file right currently so I can see the files files and file groups means I can only take the backup of data files guys here I cannot see log file see here I cannot see the log file I can see primary file group I can see the data file I can see the data file I can see the data file which are there in the which is there in the primary file group data file generally will be in the primary file groups right so using this file and file group option if i want to take a specific file group backup you can choose that specific file group in our case only one file group is there so that's why whenever we are selecting this any of the component all the components are selecting okay so like this if you have two two file groups you can choose whatever file group you want you can take the backup of file group or in one file group four or five files are there you can choose only that particular file to take the backup guys that is called file or file group backup right so i want to take the backup of whole database fine generally backup means what if imagine you are copying some items from your mobile phone to laptop what you are going to do you are copying some items from some photos from your mobile phone to laptop what you will do what you will do unfortunately deleted to mobile phone it's safe to laptop right what you will do is first you will connect your phone to the laptop right and then copy. copy some files copy and where you are going to paste it in some location right yes you will choose in some location you will, you will copy the files in some location in some location so you have to give the location right path location is nothing but path you have to give the path right in which location you want to copy right yes. so in the same way to take the backups you have to give the path to which location i have to take the backup this is the path guys okay this is the path so this is the default path you can see if you don't give any path sql server by default it will take this path c program files microsoft sql server instance root directory in that ms sql folder in that backup folder in that it will create a backup file with the batch 46 database name dot bak full backups extension is dot bak full backup file extension is dot bak right so I can I can simply click OK now. Why? Because already file uh, it is going to take the backups with the default file name. No, I don't want to give this file name. I want to remove this. I want to add a new file name. Add 
means simply are giving file name to the backup guys this is the location if you want to browse it click on this browse button if you want to take the backups to some other drives you can select other drives other folders and all your wish you want to take backups to the default location program files microsoft sql server instance root directory ms sql in that backup folder is there by default you will get this backup folder select that path and now you give the backup file name guys okay always tries to give backup file names like this include database name in the backup file name underscore what type of backup it is full backup underscore when you are taking this backup 10 16 20 22 dot what is the extension bak bak okay so if you give like this next time if any dba if any other dba is there you will understand okay this is a full backup and this is a batch 46 full backup and it took on 10 16 so while deleting tomorrow someone wants to delete the backup he will check okay this is yesterday's backup right why we have to delete yesterday's backup so we delete old backups so always tries to include all these three parameters database name type of backup and date on which date you are taking the backups guys click okay right in this way i can give the path and the file name to the backup so media options so you can see overwrite media backup to existing media set append to the existing media set append to the existing media set and overwrite all the backup sets so here if you see generally to which location it will take the backup to this backup folder guys you can see this folder is empty now once i clicked okay it will take the backup full backup file you can see a physical file here whatever file name we gave you can see one file with our file name so backup set means first time when you take the backup it will generate a file right that is called a backup set first time when you take the full backup it will generate a backup file that is like batch 46 underscore full backup underscore we gave right the date dot bak so that is actually a backup set right so i'll explain what is media set so generally keep it as it is i'll explain this option also append to the existing backup set overwrite existing backup sets and all so backup options generally we do we are not going to change anything here set backup compression is an important option guys backup compression is very useful option okay so because of this backup compression you can compress the backups so nothing to worry if i compress the backup might be performance issues and all will get no backup compression is an excellent feature imagine if you don't turn on this backup compression if you are not taking backups with this option if you are not taking backups with the data backup compression what will happen you know it will it will generate a huge backup file imagine your database size is 100 gb if you don't turn on the compress backup option means you are not compressing the backup if you are not compressing the backup you will get 100 gb backup file guys 100 gb backup file for 100 gb database the same size of backup also. of course if you are copying 2 gb data same 2 gb data has to come to the destination right in the same way i am taking backup of 100 gb means 100 gb backup file will be generated and it is going to consume the space guys but if you turn on this compress backup option it is very excellent feature it will compress that backup file so almost you can save 70 to 80 percentage sometimes 90 percentage of the storage means for 100 gb backup uh, database size you might get 10 gb or 15 gb backup file size that is the excellent feature 80 percentage storage you can save backups are mandatory guys you cannot skip backups in the organization so if you don't compress you have to provide lot of storage okay if you compress it the thing is guys tell me writing 100 gb file will take more time or writing 10 gb file will take more time tell me 100 gb 100 gb file will take more time it has to write 100 gb definitely it will take lot of time but writing a 10 gb file when compared to 100 gb 10 gb file is less so if you turn on this compression you can save the storage of course you can save the time if you are storing if you are saving storage and time means you are indirectly saving money so 
with this compression option you can save three things storage time and money okay so generally we don't change anything here use the default server settings we'll keep it as it is on server level we can enable compression go to server settings go to database settings here you can see compress backup select this compress backup so on server level the settings the settings are enabled so no need to give again on database in each database no need to give use the default server setting okay use the default server setting what it means backup is backup compression is enabled or disabled enabled enabled now we enabled, enabled on the server level right so no need to enable on each database level by default it will take the server level setting guys if the server level setting is disabled if you select this option compression won't work means compression you cannot take the backup so third compression you have to take the backup so third compression if the if the compress backup option is enabled on the server level if you choose this option of course this is a default option no need to choose it so use the default server setting means on the server level currently backup compression is enabled so no need to select again specifically no need to select compress backup automatically will take the backup with the compression guys okay just click okay guys i want to script out this action the whole action i want to script out how can i generate a script you can select script button guys in the back end it will open a query window it will generate a script to take the backups okay so let me show you that script guys yeah in the back end you can see it's already generated the script right so i am clicking okay now okay just okay to take the full backup now you can see the status here how much percentage is completed as database is very small it just completed immediately completed you can see here the backup of database batch 46 completed successfully so if you see here earlier we don't have any files here right now if you see here you can see one file batch 46 underscore full backup underscore 10 16 20 dak the one which we gave just now okay right now my question is can i take the backup to the same location with the same name guys this is the query to take the backup backup database database name to disk is equal to you have to give path this is the path c program files microsoft sql server ms sql backup and this is the file name okay this is the file name Okay, this is the file name guys. These are some parameters. Right, this is the complete query to take the backup. Can I execute this query again? Or it will it will throw the error. Error yeah, file is already exist. Tell me guys, yes or no? Can I exist can I execute this query or it will throw the error? Yes. Right, let me execute this query. Right. Okay. Cannot open backup device operating system error. What is the problem here? what is this operating system error what operating system error we have let me check yes the file name directory volume label syntax backup is terminating abnormally actually we cannot get the error guys we cannot get the error so why we are getting error you know because of this no format okay let me execute only up to here of course then also it will take the the format let me delete this i'll tell you i'll tell you guys i'll tell you nothing to worry okay
ओके ओनली थिंग इज देर इज नो एरर एक्चुअली ओके सो वी जस्ट ब्रेक इट दैट क्वरी राइट सो दैट्स वे ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर गाइस यू कैन सी हियर ओके सो इवन दो आई गिव द सेम क्वरी अगेन इवन दो आई गिव द सेम क्वरी अगेन द बैकअप डेटा बेज सक्सेसफुली प्रोसेस्ड ओके सो द एरर द वन विच वी गॉट दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ द लाइन्स गाइज नॉट अदर इश्यूज and you can still see backup database is successfully processed so you you will get a doubt so we have already took the backup to the same location with the same name how come we can able to take the backup with the same name again and if you see here you cannot see two files you can see only one file then where is the backup file where is the second backup file where is the time is okay okay now check the size again what is the size 919kb now let me execute this again again you will get the success and now check the size again now what is the size okay one so what's happening <coughs> it's appending <coughs> appending appending it's appending to the existing backup as you are giving the same name if you change the name okay so here i am simply adding underscore i am adding the time 0757 now 757 right i am simply adding the time now execute now you will get a second backup why because now you changed the backup file so the actual backup size is 461 kb but what you see here 1377 means what happened if you give the same name in the same location it won't throw error it will append to the existing current backup set this is a backup set guys only one backup file is there but what is this this is a media set collection of backup sets in this media set three full backup files are there the thing is if you give the same name if you are taking backup to the same location with the same name it won't throw any error simply the second backup will be appended with the first backup third backup will be appended with the remaining two backups they will keep appending appending means what adding got the point guys yes so if you change the file name then it will create a new file name why because file name is different so it won't create any issues next time okay so if you don't change it it won't throw any error it will exist it will simply append to the existing backup set guys so it won't throw any error it will simply exist so don't think this this file is a backup set this file can be backup set this file can be media set is that is that clear guys backup files if you see sometimes don't think that is a single backup set that might be a single backup set or it's it might be a, a media set media set means what collection of backup sets is a media set okay while restoring i'll tell you how to check whether this is a backup set or media set i'll tell you while restoring okay i'll show you how to check whether this is a backup set or media set clear guys how to take the backups is it clear any issues any doubts how to take full backup so no need to write this much big query so you can also take backup using this small query also remaining okay this time i am going to take backup to the gpa database to disk is equal to okay so gpa underscore full backup i am giving file name underscore what is the date today 10 16 Twenty twenty two dot. What is the extension of full backup? B A K. Let me close the quotes. Can I give command like this to execute? Can I give like this, guys? What is the problem with this command? Location. Location path. Very good. Path is not there, so it will throw the error, right? No, it will be saved in the default location. Hmm. I think it will choose the default location. Okay, let me execute then. Okay, so backup database successfully processed. Three seventy two pages in zero point one five eight seconds. And if you see here the default location, GP full backup is generated. Okay, so location is not mandatory. If you don't give the location, of course, just to show you. Okay, generally the organization will give the location. We have to give the path and all. Why? Because we don't take backups to the default location we'll have separate drive in that drive only we'll take the backups but yes it's possible if you don't give path also you can take the backup 
so what path it will choose it will choose default path whatever c program files microsoft sql server ms sql server ms sql backup folder is there by default it will take that path guys okay if you don't give any path it will choose the default path so this is the command to take the full backup okay clear any questions here please so now i have a quick question if you don't have any questions my backup is started at 10 o'clock okay or 8 o'clock now it is 8 o'clock right now back my back, my backup is started on 8 o'clock at 8 o'clock so the database is a big database around 1 tb database is there 1 terabyte so it will take 1 terabyte means generally it will take 1 hour every terabyte it will take 30 minutes to 1 hour guys depends upon the server size server speed and all so backup is started at 8 o'clock the database size is big so it will it is going to complete by 9 o'clock now tell me if any transactions if any transactions are inserted at 8:25 if any transactions are inserted at 8:25 are those transactions are part of this current full backup or not got my question yes means backup started at 8 o'clock and it is going to be completed by 9 o'clock 8:25 some transactions are inserted into the database the transactions okay are part of the current full backup file or not Yes. Not. Yes. No. Yes. No. No, sir. No. No. Sir. Uh, right. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Yes. Are you traveling or what? Okay. So the answer is what is the question, guys? I forgot about the question. Can we take backup? Ah, backup started at eight o'clock. Correct. 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 So the answer is yes. They are part of the current full backup set. Okay. So before the backup is going to be completed, before the backup is going to be completed, whatever transactions are there inside the log file, I told you right, it will take the backup of committed transactions and non-committed transactions. Okay. So even though the backup is going to be completed in a second. In case if any transactions are inserted in the log file, it will still take the backup of all the transactions. Okay, the answer is yes. Those transactions, even after starting the backup, also if any transactions are inserted, simply before the backup is going to be completed, even though there is a one second, nine o'clock, it is going to be completed, right? If any transactions are inserted at eight fifty-nine minutes fifty-nine seconds, even though the transactions are inserted in the last minute, still. your full backup up to the full backup is going to be completed whatever transactions are coming inside the database all the transactions are part of the current full backup guys okay all the transactions are part of the current full backup right fine so this is all about your full backup let's discuss about the differential backup after full backup differential backup is very important guys so differential backup means what listen carefully little bit confusing uh, point differential backup means okay sir sir copying a data file and log file is not a full backup no that's not a full backup i told you right that's a cold backup why data full data is there in see, data there file, is and log file there is a definition for full backup whatever see i am copying all the files why not it is a full backup means that's a recommended practice by microsoft full backup means you have to follow this method only simply copy that's why we gave another name for that uh, 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 strategy right for that particular process we gave another name that is cold backups sir why we are calling it as a cold backup why not it is a full backup 
so if you if you never asked you to take the full backup what you will do you will copy the files or you will take the full backup in this method which method you will prefer which method you will prefer tell me now if you never asked you to take the full backup which method you will full prefer backup. you will copy the files physically or what can, can you copy the, can you copy backup. the files physically physically can you copy no. the files physically in no. the database no, sir so what is the process for full backup so if you call that as a full backup then you have to copy the files physically even though the database is online so if you take the full backup in this method it won't disturb the database you know need to keep the database offline and all okay so there is a process yeah. full okay, backup okay. means this is the process you have to follow this process sir i am copying two files all the files why not it is a full backup okay so that's not the process for that there is another name that is a cold backup so cold backup the process is different full backup the process is different as you are copying the full files you cannot say it is a full backup okay so differential backup means differential backups will take the backup of all the changes listen carefully all the changes it will take the backup of all the changes since last full backup very important people will confuse you with this line okay it's very simple it's not a, not rocket science very simple so whenever you run the differential backup it will take the backup of all the changes only changes not the full content full database backup will take the backup of a whole database but whereas differential backup it will take the backup of only changes only changes so changes won't be more right generally small small changes and all will be there not much changes so differential backup will take the backup of the changes since last full backup since last full backup since last full backup this is very important point so why i am i am stressing this why because in the interviews they will confuse you with this point guys so let me explain you with the diagram sql server differential backup images this one right so if you see here right at 7 am imagine one record is inserted at 7 am imagine one record is inserted at 7 am okay so you can see at 7 am one record is inserted at 10 am you took the backup full backup at 10 am what you did you took the full backup at 10 am so what happened till 10 am how many records are there in the database in the full backup it will cover the all records right so till 10 am only one record is there in my database so when i took the full backup you got the particular record in the full backup file now at 1 pm three records are added two three four records are added at 1 pm three records are added now you took the differential backup at 2 pm you took the differential backup at 2 pm what i told you guys it will take the backup of only changes what are the changes here 2 3 four, 3 4 records are added so it took the changes of the it took backup of only the changes 2 3 4 records clear is it clear till now yes sir when yes, you initiate sir. the differential backup it will take the changes of the backup since last full backup it will take the changes since last full backup so the changes like 2 3 4 records are added so it took 2 3 4 records backup fine now at 4 pm two more records are added five one six records are added so now when you generate a differential backup at 6 pm how many records has to be added guys five six only five six yes sir then this is wrong right why it is showing two three four five six after full backup addition changes What is the definition? What is the definition? Okay, since last full backup. Since last full backup. When last full backup happened? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Since ten o'clock, how many changes are there? Since ten o'clock, 
Got it? So when, uh, whenever you are restoring, yes, please, you are asking question. Yeah, but also to uh, two P also is taken a backup, right? That's what. That's what. That's what I'm saying. Whenever, whenever you are taking differential backup, it okay. won't consider the last differential backup. It always look for the last full backup only. Always, always, always. It always look. It it won't. It will forget about this differential backup. Means it will skip it. Okay. So the concept itself, whenever you initiate a differential backup, it will take the backup of all the changes since last full backup. So whenever you generate a differential backup, it will consider the last full backup only. So since last full backup, we have these many changes. So it will take the backup of all the changes in the current differential backup. Now imagine now you want to restore the database. So how many backups you will use? At 6 p.m. your database is corrupted. 6 5 your database is corrupted. How many backups you will use? You have one full backup, two differential backups. So how many backups you will use to restore? Tell me guys, I need answers from everyone. See? At 6 5, my database is corrupted. How many backups you will use to restore the database? I have three backups, one full backup, two differential backups. So how many backups I will use to restore the database? One full backup. Oh, yeah. Two, sir. Full. Okay. Two, 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 two. Guys, type your answers in the chat, please. I want to see. Okay. I want to see the talent. Sorry, sir. Can you repeat the question? Yes, sure, sure, sure. So my database is corrupted at six five, just six five. So now I have three backups: one full backup, two differential backups. So how okay. many backups you are going to use to restore? What backups you are going to use to restore? Of course, why we are taking backups to restore, right? Whenever we need, we have to restore it. So here I have three backups: one full, two differential backups. So when your database is corrupted at 6.5, how many backups you are going to use to restore the database and what and all backups? You got the question now? Yeah, I one have... is the backup and two are the different differential, differential backup. backup. And backup. after 6.5, uh, which one corrupted, sir? At 6.5 only corrupted, after 6.5, no. At 6.5 it was corrupted, so we can recover up to 6 o'clock. Why? Right? Because okay. till 6 o'clock okay. we have okay. differential backup, right? So here my question is how many backups we have to use to restore till 6 o'clock? No, On, till 6 o'clock only. Uh, okay. Till 6 o'clock only. As of now we discussed only back, differential backup, right? So till 6 o'clock, if I want to restore my database, how, how many files I have to use? How many backup files? Okay, I'm still getting answers. Right, okay, so here. Uh, okay, okay, full backup. Kacha any one, Shahana three, one, one full three, I mean one, Ram two, seventy two, sorry, wrong typed. Giri two, Kacha any two. Two means what backups? Two means what full backup and differential backup. Differential backup at what time? Six p.m. Six p.m. Okay. Uh, okay, Naveen. Kacha any one full and one differential. Okay, you mentioned. Selection one full backup and recent differential backup. Good. Isha two. Durga two. Sorry, full backup and differential backup also. Sandhya. Giri one full and one differential. One uh, one full one differential. One full one differential. Okay, guys. That's fine. Okay. Most of you answered correctly. So Naveen, Shahana, 
ಓಕೆ ನವೀನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಹಾನ ಸೊ ನವೀನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ನವೀನ್ ವೈ ತ್ರೀ ಬ್ಯಾಕಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರೀಸ್ಟೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕಪ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಒನ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನವೀನ್ ಶಹಾನ ಟೂ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಫೈನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೈಪ್ ಟೂ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಬ್ಯಾಕಪ್ಸ್ ಗೈಸ್ one full backup of course full backup is mandatory we cannot restore other backups without full backup so first we'll restore full backup next the second one is a recent differential backup 6 pm backup is the recent differential backup why because i told you in the patching concept if you have service pack 1 service pack 2 service pack 3 service pack 4 if you want to patch the sql server with the latest service pack you can directly go with sp4 even we also patched the sql server 2017 directly with cu31 cu31 31 updates are released but why we used only cu31 the recent cumulative update is enough the recent cumulative update will have changes of all other cumulative updates okay so no need to patch again cu1 cu2 cu3 cu4 you can directly apply the recent one in the same way in the recent differential backups i am going to get all my records right why again i have to use this so 234 234 two times you cannot get it right records duplication will be done fine so always always listen carefully this is an interview question so in case if you are having multiple differential backups always you have to use the recent differential backup only you have to use that word called recent differential backup you cannot say four differential backup five differential backup the answer is always one differential backup which differential backup if you ask always the recent differential backup will use okay now at 8 pm two more records are added 7 and 8 at 8 pm two more records are added at 10 pm you took the full backup now at 10 pm you took the full backup now again a question for all of you at 11 pm 9 and 10 records are added at 11 pm 9 and 10 records are added now at 2 am you took the differential backup at 2 am you took the differential backup right so as per the differential backup definition why i can see only two records here why because at 10 pm already full backup is done with eight records after full backup this differential backup we don't consider this full backup Yeah, last, last full backup, backup. 10 o'clock full backup okay so this is not going to work so now after the last full backup two records are added so whenever you took the differential backup you can see okay two records it took the backup of two records now my question is if my database is corrupted at 2.5 if my database is corrupted at 2.5 how many backups i have to restore what and all backups i have to restore till 2 o'clock Type your, answer. Type your answer. So, how many backups? What backups I have to restore? Mention the full, mention the full backup time, guys. Whether it is a full backup uh, 10 a.m. or full backup 10 p.m. Mention the full backup time. Okay. And the differential backup time also. You can see full backup time and differential backup time. 10 p.m., 2 a.m. and 10 a.m. And of course, 6 p.m. Mention the timings. So I will get the clarity. last time i got uh, 16 17 answers this time only 10 answers why guys why only 10 answers okay 
Twelve answers. Okay. So let me check. And this time, this time, eight nineteen. Okay. So one full and one differential, Lisha. Okay. Actually, one full one differential. This is eight fourteen. Okay. Lisha eight nineteen. Okay. Two. Madhavi one differential. Sanjay full backup ten pm and recent differential backup also we can. Shahana one full backup at ten pm. Differential backup at two am. Very good. And Madhavi one full backup. Giri ten pm full backup. Okay. Shivanti full backup ten pm. Differential two am. Very good. Two one full backup ten pm and one differential backup two am. Very good. Isha full backup ten pm. Differential backup two am. Okay. Navin ten pm full backup two am. 10 pm full backup 2 am differential backup two full backups two full backups we can restore sandhya is that your question two full backups no that is my answer i mean that is, uh, that is your answer two full backups we can restore yeah two uh, 10 am uh, full backup also we can restore mm hmm durga one full backup at 10 pm one differential backup at 2 pm 2 pm 2 pm or 2 am durga Two one full backup. Two AM, sir. Sorry. Okay, okay. Ah uh, yes, uh, Sanjay, you are saying something. Yes, tell me. So you want to restore this ten AM full backup and ten PM full backup, right? Yes, both we can. Uh, we can restore. Both we can restore. Then what about differential backup? You don't use any differential backup. How many records you will get if you restore both full backups? Tell me. Okay. Uh, all, uh, I mean, all records when we can store at 10 p.m. Hmm. So you can I get can up to eight records, right? Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Then what eight. about I want these teach? I want till 2 a.m. I want all the data till 2 a.m. Yes. Then how you are going this, to cover uh, this? This differential backup also we can restore. I mean, okay, recent, so two recent. full backups and one, one differential uh, backup. Yes, well, that was right. Mm -hmm. But but uh, now <clears throat> now I got it is in this 10 p.m. Uh, total records will be restored. Mm -hmm. Then why you need two full backups? Our main goal is but we have to get the data mistake, right. That is my mistake. In this we can uh, total full backup. So full backup means it's not a single component; it's a complete yes, component. So whenever you are restoring, it will take the backup. It will take the backup of whole database and it will restore it. Again, yes, you don't need to uh, restore multiple full backups. That's completely wrong. Okay, we'll never yes, restore multiple full backups or multiple differential backups. Always only full backup and differential backup of that particular full backup, guys. Only differential. Yes, yes. Now I have a question for all of you. Now, by mistake, this full backup is deleted. Okay, the file of 10 p.m. full backup is deleted. Now, tell me, guys. Now, this is the challenge for all of you. By mistake, this 10 p.m. full backup is deleted. Now, how you are going to restore? Till what point you can restore? Got the question right? So you all said correct. I'll use 10 p.m. full backup, 2 a.m. differential backup. Good, very good. But sudden, but unexpectedly, this 10 p.m. full backup got deleted. How we are going to fix this issue? Try, guys. Try. No issues. Just try it. Okay, no problem. What best you can do to, to fix this issue? Or worst case, worst case, till what time I can restore? You can restore up to eleven p.m. Huh? How? Eight uh, p.m. Eight p.m. How come? Thirteen six, sir. Can restore back up at ten a.m. Ten a.m. Ten a.m. Can restore back up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Next. So till what time you can restore? Sir, till six p.m. Sir. Right. So the answer is yes. Till six p.m. we can restore. Why? Because till eight p.m. where is the backup of these two records? 
It's the backup. You don't have any backup of these two records, right? You have a good backups up to 6 p.m. only. You have good backups up to 6 p.m. Even the two records, you know that two records are three records are some data inserted at 8 p.m. But you don't have backup, right? You didn't take the backup, right? So you cannot restore till 8 p.m. If you can restore till 8 p.m., you can restore till 11 p.m. also, which is not possible. So you can restore till 6 p.m. Up to 6 p.m. only I have good backup set. So I can restore up to 6 p.m. guys. And if any files are deleted, especially, you cannot use this differential backup set, okay, on this full backup set, guys. I want to say one thing. Whatever differential backups will be generated based on one full backup set, these two are one set, guys. You cannot mix, okay. Sir, can I restore this differential backup on this full backup set? No. This was taken basis based on this full backup. So while restoring this backup, this differential backup, it will check for this full backup is there or not. If this full backup is not there, you cannot restore this differential backup. Okay, so I told you right, service pack cumulate update. You cannot use service pack of, you cannot use cumulative update of one service pack. You cannot use it SP2 CU4, SP3 CU5 or SP3 CU4, SP2 CU4, SP3 CU4. Okay, so you have to use if you want to patch your SQL server with the SP3 CU4, you should have SP3. So SP2 is already there, so I'll use directly SP3 CU4. It won't work. What is the minimum criteria? SP3 for C SP3 CU4, you should install SP3 first. Right? In the same way, the full backups that are generated, the differential backups that are generated after the recent full backup, they are one one set. You cannot mix this set. Fortunately, no one answered like this. Okay, that means you are clear. So these two are one set. Okay, you cannot mix another differential backup with any other full backup sets, guys. You can only restore this differential backup based on this full backup. If this full backup is deleted, you cannot do anything. You can restore up to 6 p.m., guys. Okay, clear? Fine. So uh, take a break, guys. Okay, so come back at 8:45. Uh, we'll discuss about a uh, okay shahana full backup 10 a.m differential backup at 8 p.m differential backup at 2 a.m full backup differential backup at 8 8 p.m so differential backup any differential backup is there at 8 p.m shahana yeah my name is 6 p.m okay so you can see here these are the backups timings okay and let me ch check the and 8 p.m. and differential backup at okay. Two, you you will restore two differential backups. Huh? Yeah, I no. now okay. I understand. So now you got the point, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, come back at 8:45. We'll discuss other things. Okay, we'll discuss other backups. I'll be back at 8:45, guys. Fine. Okay. So any questions, any doubts in full and differential backups, guys? Any questions, any doubts? No questions? Are we good? Okay, done. So let me discuss about the log backups, guys. Okay. So transaction log backup or log backup. So transaction log backups, generally differential backup means it will take the backup of all the changes since last full backup, right? That is the definition of differential backup. So transaction log backup will take the backup of only log file. Only log file, guys. Your full backup and differential backup will take the backup of log and differential, sorry, uh, data file and log file. Your full backup and a differential backup will take the backup of data files and log files also. But whereas transaction log backup will take the backup of only log file, it won't touch the data file. Okay, it will take the backup of only log file. Guys, there is an interview question for this differential backup. How SQL Server knows what are the changes? are done since last full backup okay so how sql server knows these are the changes are done since last full backup okay so for that in sql server there is a 
phase there is a separate phase called dcm phase differential changed map what this dcm phase will do guys this is a system phase okay it will track all the extents extents you know right extents 64 kb it will track all the extents that are changed not all extents only changed extents that are changed okay that are changed since last okay full backup so what this dcm phase will do dcm phase will take all the changes will take it will track all the extents all the extents that are changed only change directions whatever change directions are there all change directions okay since last will back up your dcm phase will track all the change directions since last will back up so whenever you trigger the differential backup whenever you trigger the differential backup what it will do whenever you trigger the differential backup okay sql server will goes to differential dcm phase sql server will ask dcm phase hey dcm phase do you have any extents that are changed since last full backup dcm phase will give the tracked extents so sql server will take the backup of only the changed modified extents guys is it clear clear guys sir nalli ok sir check karo sure sure so how come as you know the differential backup definition right it will take the sir. backup of all the changes Hello? yes yes please i have one doubt yes yes after finishing full backup hmm. the differential change map is working i mean it will start the work Not is it like correct or differential backup I mean, dcm page is a system page it will keep tracking the changes guys after full okay, automatically. Automatically, I mean, automatically automatically you don't need to do anything see nothing has to be done from our side only you can trigger the differential backup this will be done internally okay, okay. it will be done internally what will happen sometimes in the interview questions they will ask you in l2 questions and all they will ask you how differential backup will work can you please explain so how come sql server knows the changes are there since last will backup what are the changes are there since last will backup how, how come it knows it cannot go to each extent and this is changed this is changed it cannot track it right so for that to do these things there is one system phase okay so we have already discussed earlier in the data base uh, file groups will be there in the file groups data files will be there in the data files extents will be there in the extents pages will be there this is the physical hierarchy of the sql server right so pages are two types system pages and data pages data pages will store the data <laughs> like your records and all it will store the data system pages will store the information of the sql server internal information will be stored in the system pages among those system pages dcm page is one page differential changed map so what this page will do it will track all the extents that are changed since last will backup the dcm page will track all the extents that are changed since last will backup so whenever you trigger the differential backup sql server will go to dcm page it will ask hey dcm page what are the extents changed since last full backup dcm page will give why because it's already tracking some extents right okay full backup these are the extents changed since last full backup since last full backup so you can take this uh, extents and you can take the backup of only these extents clear guys is it clear clear or on clear yes, or not tell me guys yeah, yeah. clear right so dcm page will play a crucial role for differential backups dcm page will track all the extents that are changed yeah. since last full backup so sql server will directly ask dcm page any extents are there that are changed since last full backup so sql server will get those extents information from the dcm page and it will take the backup of only the modified extents guys log backup transaction log backup this is how generally differential backup will work so transaction log backup will take the backup of only log file it don't touch the data files guys it will take the backup of only log file even it will also take a committed transactions and uncommitted transactions data 
your uh, log log backup will contains completed transactions and uncompleted transactions data it will take guys okay so it will take all the transactions data it will take the backup of all the transactions whether it is a completed or uncompleted okay so it will take backup of all the transactions data guys so log backups are okay so what are these log backups guys these log backups are like a kind of a, a pieces guys it's a kind of a pieces so you should have all the log backups all the log backups to restore the database all the log backups to restore the to restore the database till to a specific point okay so always log backups will depends always the log backup the current log backup will depends on its previous log backups guys log backups i'll explain again nothing to worry okay on on its previous log backups for example you are taking log backups for every 15 minutes for the safe side generally the organization will take the log backups will take the log backups for every 15 minutes okay general you can change the time guys but this is a recommended practice it's not mandatory that uh, you can take it for every 15 minutes you can change it to every 5 minutes also but the recommended practice is every 15 minutes we'll take the log backup so imagine now the time is almost 9 o'clock right 9 o'clock so every 15 minutes means 9 o'clock is a 15 minutes interval right 9 9 15 9 30 9 45 10 right so 9 o'clock log backup will always depends on which log backup guys which log backup 9 o'clock log backup will always depends on which log backup 8 45 845 log backup so 845 to 9 okay 845 to 9 log backup is one piece okay 9 to sorry 9 to 9 15 9 15 is one piece second piece okay so 915 to 930 third piece mm -hmm. 932 945 fourth piece 9:45 to 10 okay fifth piece guys so now if you want to restore the database generally we can restore it on the full backup right without full backup i cannot restore any backups right so if we want to restore this one hour data what you have to do guys 8:45 to 10 o'clock if you want to restore what you have to do first part second part third part fourth part sorry first part second part third part fourth part fifth part all five log backups you have to restore guys why because 8:45 to 9 o'clock data it will be there inside the first piece 9 to 9:15 data will be there inside second piece 9:15 to 9:30 will be there inside the third piece differential backup is not like that differential backup will take the changes since last full backup but it always log backup will always depends on the last log backup will always depends on the last log backup so that's why log backups will be generally it will be like a, a pieces guys it will take the backups in pieces so piece by piece piece by piece piece by piece it will take so all pieces should be there to restore the database to a specific point of time all pieces we need first piece second piece third piece fourth piece fifth piece if you want to restore this one hour 15 minutes data you should have five pieces it's not like one recent piece you should have all five pieces guys imagine now this is the scenario this is the scenario they will ask the interview question like this only every sunday generally we will take the full backups every sunday guys why because full backups are uh, big data big backups right it will take lot of time right so to run so you are you are going to take the full backups every week okay daily means you can take it no issues but the thing is daily full backup is taking means it will take lot of time so it will create performance issues generally 
but for critical applications and all they will take daily full backup again it depends upon your wish whenever you want you can take the backups guys but different organization will follow different strat strategies but that is called backup strategy some organizations will follow they will ask you an interview question guys this is in pakka interview question what is your organization backup strategy so people will follow different strategies some organizations will follow every sunday full backup weekly every sunday full backup every day differential backup every 15 minutes log backups okay some organization will follow this strategy some organizations will follow every day full backup every 4 hours differential backup every 15 minutes log backups okay every 15 minutes log backups guys now he will ask if you if you tell this uh, uh, backup strategy in the interview he will ask like this okay fine very good my database is corrupted my database is corrupted at uh, on saturday saturday evening 5 50 5:50 pm my database is corrupted on saturday evening 5:50 pm okay so don't know right we cannot expect it might corrupt at any time we are not sure or it won't wait okay okay chalo let's uh, log backup is running i'll wait till log backup is complete then i'll corrupt not like that okay so suddenly it was corrupted at 5:50 pm so now you have to restore how many backup files you will use to restore this till 5:50 or at least till 545 how many backups what are the backups you will use to restore the database till saturday evening 545 guys forget about that 5 minutes that also we can recover but as of now the best time is 545 okay now tell me guys every sunday full backup at 10 2 am in the morning 2 am every day differential backup at 10 pm in the night every 15 minutes means there is no time right 15 minutes means you know every every one hour uh, every 15 minutes it will run 8 8 15 8 30 8 45 9 9 15 9 9 30 9 45 10 it will keep running so now tell me guys what is your answer my database is corrupted on saturday evening 5:50 pm what and all backups i have to use to restore till 5:45 tell me guys you can type your answers in the chat I got only one answer till now. Only one answer. If you are not getting the question, let me know. I'll explain again. T-shirt. <coughs> hmm?
right okay so let me check the answers 14 answers i got so let me check it nine o'clock right nine six okay nine six three count replied first so one differential backup and one log backup okay friday differential backup why guys why you are giving okay a uh, piece 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 answer only friday differential backup is enough huh? only friday differential backup is enough you replied at nine six just now is a full backup 2 a.m last sunday okay very good and differential backup at 10 p.m friday okay very good one full backup sunday one very good five differential backup okay 16 log backups okay 70 akshay till 545 data will be recovered what you did to recover the data akshay you just simply mention till 545 data will be recovered like how, how the data will be recovered till 545 2M full data backup. Why you didn't mention that one? You have to mention, right? I, I, I asked that only how many backups you are going to use. You simply mention till 545 data will be recovered. Okay. Mention the backups. I need the backup names. One full backup plus all the transaction log backup. Very good, Kachayani. This is correct. Sri Lakshmi, one full backup Sunday, 2 a.m. differential backup. Sunday, 2 a.m., one differential backup, 10 p.m. Okay, Sri Lakshmi. So everyone is. Okay, uh, mentioning full and differential backups. Not sure why you are missing a log backups. Log backups and difference backup and full backup of before week. What is this, Sanjay? Log backups of and difference backup and full backup of before week. Huh? Yeah. Your answer is completely wrong. Srikanth, time 10 p.m. differential and 5.45 log. Huh? Simply 10 p.m. differential backup and 5.45 log backup is enough. Huh? Naveen, full backup, differential backup. Okay, so Naveen, you have to mention which full backup it is. Full backup, differential backup. Which differential backup? We have five differential backups till Friday. Okay, till Saturday. No, till Friday, five differential backups are there. Which differential backup we haven't mentioned? Log backup 15. Before Saturday, before database is correct log backup. Madhavi, one full backup, one differential backup, log backup. Which log backup? Shahana last will backup on Sunday, last differential backup on Friday 10 p.m. Full log backup till 5.30 p.m. Saturday. Okay, somewhat it is correct. Okay. Sri Lakshmi Friday 10 p.m. to Saturday 5.40 p.m. Okay. Guys, you have to type your answers in a single answer. I cannot merge right. So in the before you are typing, uh, two, three answers will be merged. Okay, so I cannot remember. Always try to type. Of course, even though if it is late, I am not giving any time frame, right? Take your time, type your complete answer, then only just send it to me. One way, one full backup plus all transaction log backups up to 545. Very good. Sorry, I sent wrong, Shivanti. Okay. Shivanti actually did not send wrong. Okay. I guess yours is correct answer. All data logs are after differential backup. No. One or two, hardly one or two correct answers. I got it, guys. Okay. Remaining all incomplete answers and wrong answers right so let me explain again guys so Sir, one screen yes yes actually i'm unable to screen rejoin rejoin guys can you see my screen yes actually and after the break since the no 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 guys other guys can you see my screen yes sir ah, okay yes, sir. rejoin okay fine so let me explain you guys so full backup of course we always use full backup without full backup i cannot restore any backup so one full backup what is that full backup sunday 2 a.m full backup i am going to use this is the first thing i have to do first i have to restore full backup only without full backup i cannot restore other backups so now if you restore the data till last full backup means till sunday 2 am you will get the data till sunday 2 am right if you restore this full backup you will get the data till sunday 2 am yes now you got the data till sunday 2 am i told you whenever if anyone asked how many differential backups means the answer always should be one one recent differential backup what is the recent differential backup in this case friday night okay. 10 pm Friday night 10 p.m. differential backup you have to restore means after one full backup you have to restore Friday night 10 p.m. differential backup 
if you restart the reset differential backup till what time you will get the data till friday night 10 pm what data is missing now from friday night 10 pm to saturday evening 5 50 pm from friday night 10 pm to saturday evening Five forty-five, ah, huh? five fifty. Okay, five fifty p.m. Of course, we cannot recover at this stage. We cannot recover five fifty. At least best time is five forty-five, as we are having fifteen minutes log backup for each okay database. So, how many log backups will be generated, guys? Every fifteen minutes, one log backup means how many log backups will be generated? I asked you how many full backups, differential backups, log backups. Everyone says like one full backup, one differential backup. After this time, you have to restore till this time. I need complete. See, that is also answer only, but not exact answer. You cannot explain the same in the interview like that. You have to clearly explain how many full backups, what are the full backups, how many differential backups, what are the differential backups, how many log backups, what are the log backups. So from Friday night 10 p.m. to Saturday evening 5:45, how many log backups will be generated? Every one hour four log backups, right? 15 minutes, 15 minutes means every one hour four log backups. Friday night 10 p.m. to Saturday morning 10 a.m. How many hours? 12 hours, right? Friday night 10 p.m. to Saturday morning 10 a.m. 12 hours, right? Saturday morning 10 a.m. to Saturday evening 6 a.m. How many hours? Morning 10 a.m. to evening 6 a.m. How many hours, guys? Saturday morning 10 a.m. to Saturday evening 6 p.m. How many? Seven hours. Seven hours. Seven hours, sir. Seven. Seven hours. Seven and five hours. Huh? Seven? Seven hours, 45 minutes. Ah, okay. okay, fine. The answer is eight hours actually. Okay. Yeah, eight, Till okay. 6 p.m., eight hours. Eight hours, 6 p.m., right? You have to re remove one, one log backup, which is 5.45. So total seven hours, 45 minutes. 12 hours, earlier 12 hours is there, right? 12 hours plus seven hours, 45 minutes. Means how many hours? Okay, almost 20 hours. Almost 20 hours, right? Almost 20 hours will remove one. So 20 hours each hour. How many log backups? Four logs. Four. 20 four. hours means 20 or 80 log backups. Eight. You, have to, you have to remove one log backup, 79. So one Nine. full backup of Sunday, one recent differential backup of Friday, 79 log backups. This is the correct answer. No one gave this answer, guys. No one. Okay. Or we can fix this in another way also. Differential backups are not mandatory, guys. The optional backups. Differential backups are not mandatory. Optional backups. You can skip differential backups. No problem. So in that case, what is the problem, guys? If you skip differential backup, after Sunday 2 a.m., after Sunday 2 a.m., how many log backups will be generated till Friday evening 6 p.m.? After Sunday, lot of log backups. After Sunday 2 a.m. to Friday 2 a.m. How many? Sunday to Monday, one day, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Right? Five days. Five days into 24 hours. 24 fives are how much? 25 fives are 125 minus 5. 120. Right, 120 into each are 4 log backups, 120 into 4, 480 log backups. Okay, the 2 till Saturday 2 a.m. Saturday 2 a.m. to Saturday evening 6 p.m. Sir. Yes. Disturbance of sun, sir, background. Let me mute. Okay. Fine, guys. Guys, if you want to talk, you can unmute and talk and immediately you have to mute, guys. Okay. So lot of disturbance is coming, some bike, bike disturbance is coming, not sure where you are. Okay, fine. So you can restore without differential backup also, but the challenge is you have to restore 400 or 500 log backups, guys. The problem with the log backups is out of the 79 log backups, this is a chain, right? I told you, right? 8, 8, 15, 8, 8, 30, 8, 45, 9 o'clock. This is a chain. 
so in this chain if one log backup is deleted you cannot restore other log backups guys imagine 79 log backups are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 like up to 79 okay so out of the 79 if 10th log backup is deleted you cannot restore from 11th log backup onwards of course from 10th onwards you cannot restore from 10th till 79 means you cannot make use of other log backups guys you can restore up to 9 log backups why because 10th one is corrupted if 10th one is corrupted you cannot skip 10th log backup and you cannot restore that is a piece by piece if you want to restore 9 o'clock log backup it, is, it will wait for 845 log backup if 845 log backup is deleted 9 o'clock log backup you cannot restore it depends upon the previous log backup how they are going to match together using LSN numbers ok so let me give you a, a brief lsn means log sequence number log sequence number imagine 8 o'clock log backup 8 am log backup will generate one minute huh, please delivery from swiggy is waiting thank you very much right so log sequence number generally whenever you generate a log backup the lsn numbers will be like this i'm just giving a random numbers guys okay fine i'm just giving a random numbers control c so next 8 815 log backup right control z control z again okay next 815 log backup 815 log backup okay so what is the lsn number for 815 Next lesson is 88. 88. Next lesson is 89. Next log backup, which is 815 to 830. 89. So if you want to restore 89 log backup, means 830 log backup, you should have 88 first. These two numbers are going to check whether matching or not. 988 should be there. If you want to restore 988, 987 should be there. So like this, every log backup will depends on its previous log backup. So in case if this 815 log backup is deleted, you cannot restore this 830 log backup. Not only 830, the, the subsequent log backups you cannot restore, guys. Hello? Yes, please. Uh, okay, I mean, uh, one backup is deleted at 815 or 830. But uh, so uh, when will we reach? I mean, uh, when will we get the log log backup and next backup? Sorry, next. I did not get your question, Sanjay. Yeah, and then uh, eight fifteen ke backup log backup delete type in the account. I mean, okay. uh, one piece. Okay. Uh, next uh, next time, April backup start open. Log backup eight piece coach. If, if it is, if it is not possible, not possible, not possible, not at all possible. Why? Because that that chain is broken. The link is okay broken, guys. If the link is broken okay. with one log backup, you cannot make the chain again here. Okay, sir. So I'll, what I'll, is I'll the solution? See. If it is there the is no solution, you have to restore full backup. You have to take full backup and you have to restore. In this case, there is no solution if the log backups are deleted. If the database okay. is corrupted. If the log backups are deleted, there is no solution for this. So full back is the solution. Why? I mean, full no. backup also you cannot take. Why? Because database is already corrupted. The best no, not this thing, point. Not ah, this old point. one. Old old full old backup. backup. Ah, old full backup and recent yeah. differential backup will help you. And recent log backups. Up to recent log backups. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay, so you are going to lose some data. Not all, but you are going to lose some data. Okay. Yeah. If 815 log backup is corrupted or deleted, you can restore up to 8 o'clock. You are going to lose the data from 8 o'clock onwards. Is it clear, guys? Any issues, any doubts here? Log backups are, okay, I told you, right? These are like pieces. It will take the backups in, in the form of pieces. So all the pieces should be there. For example, um, like... Um, uh, generally will uh, people children will play with this kind of uh, boards right piece by piece piece by piece they have to uh, match the diagrams and all so if one piece is missed how come you match the whole diagram you cannot get the whole diagram right right in the same way if one piece is missed you cannot restore the subsequent log backups guys so here one scenario is 
you can restore full backup one full backup one recent differential backup friday night 10 pm differential backup and all 79 log backups after the full backup another case is you can skip this differential backup then but what is the problem one full backup and after full backup what are the log backups are there for every 15 minutes all the log backups you have to restore like 400 or 500 log backups will be there so there might be like a confusion while restoring 500 400 500 log backups definitely will do a lot of errors right so that's why to avoid number of log backups we'll use differential backup so five days log backups you can save a one day or one and a half day log backup you can restore guys with the differential backup clear so now if it is clear let me ask you this question again where is the strategy yeah this is the second strategy right mm -hmm. Log backup every Sunday, log sequence number. Uh, let me ask you this question. Every day full backup, okay? This will generate at 3 a.m. in the morning. 3 a.m. Every day 3 a.m. full backup will be generated. Every 4 hours from 9 to 12 o'clock. Every 4 hours means when the differential backups will happen, guys? From 9 to 12 o'clock, every 4 hours means 12 o'clock. Early morning 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock afternoon 12 o'clock evening 4 o'clock evening 8 o'clock night 12 o'clock right every 15 minutes log backups so no need to tell the time my database is corrupted my db is corrupted at evening 9 49 hmm. now tell me type your answers tell me how many backups what and all backups clearly with numbers after this after that no i need all the backups with the numbers clearly i need the answer type your answer in a single chart not piece by piece like log backup and then only send the answer to me okay i'm waiting guys can you tell me full backup at what times uh 3 a.m you can see here right you can see my screen actually i'm unable to see your screen have you rejoined have you rejoined Seventy. Yeah, yeah. I said now after break I rejoin. Still, you are facing same issue. Uh, let me try it again. Yes, I am able to see now. No. Guys, any challenge in log backups? Any challenge in understanding the log backups, guys? Tell me. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if the log backup is corrected in between, can we restore the uh, log backup that is just before that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Till whatever point the log backups are good, you can restore till before that particular. Your log backup is corrupted at 8, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock log backup is corrupted. You can restore. What is the good log backup you have? Till 7.45. The series. You have to concentrate on the series. Till 7.45 you have all the log backups and all the backups are good. Then you can restore till 7.45. Yeah. So guys, uh, I can see only one answer. What is the problem in log backups? Just let me know. Otherwise, I will explain again. No issues for me. Why only one answer till now? You are not interested to tell the answer or what? <laughs> or you don't understand this? Very simple thing guys. Log backups are piece by piece it will take. 
every 15 minutes means every 15 minutes 15 minutes one piece 15 minutes another 15 minutes one more piece so like that so till the point of correction for example if it is going to be corrupted at 8 o'clock so or 8 5 you can take the backups log backups will be generated till 8 o'clock okay so here how many log backups you have to use that's it log backups are only piece by piece backups okay and uh, if in case if one lag backup is deleted forget about that deleted log backups as of now we don't need my scenario is this one every day at 3 a.m full backup every four hours differential backup and every 15 minutes log backup my database is corrupted at 9 45 what and all backups you are going to use to restore very simple thing if you don't understand let me know i'll explain again no issues for me one more question sir yes, hello yes, yes. log backups will do every day or uh, i mean no every 15 minutes right and i mean every day also see every 15 minutes means do i need to mention every day every 15 minutes every 15 minutes it is going to take it okay and forget about every day i'm asking about today only guys why you are worrying about every day sir morning 3 am to evening uh, evening 3 a, 3 pm and 12 hour what happened to the so you are asking to today log backups right and i mean today only itself. today only see the database is corrupted today and you have full backup today so what is the issue with the uh, everyday log backups to you i didn't get your point why because you are having full backup today full backup every day full backup is happening so yes, why yes. you are mentioning about again every day or what so in case generally every day 15 minutes every 15 minutes means every day every 15 minutes your log backups will run yeah, that's what my question. Yeah, there, there is no point of raising this question. Every 15 minutes means it's a continuous uh, stream. Every 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. It's what, 24 by 7 every 15 minutes. Once today is completed, tomorrow every 15 minutes. 76 lakhs, huh? Sorry? 76 lakhs. 76 lakhs. Logs, huh? Yeah. Why 76? See, that is uh, you are you are asking about the last example or what? No, 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 no. 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yeah, sir. Who is that? Venkat, sir. Venkat, tell me. Yeah, every day, okay. Tell me, forget about every day, okay? Every day, full backup is running. That's all. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. How many hours? Tell me. 12. 12 hours. Yeah. 3 p.m. to night. Uh, 9 pm or 10 pm imagine 10 yeah. pm will remove one log backup okay okay uh, 3 a 3 pm to night 10 pm how many hours 3 to 10 3 to 10 oh. 7 hours hmm? 7 7 yeah. the total how many hours uh, 12 12 hours 7? 90 19 hours so 19 hours okay 19 yeah. hours and means 20 hours imagine yeah 20 20 into 4 20 into 4 one 180 20 into 4 180 huh? yeah, no, 80. 80 80 80 80 very good so 80 minus you have to remove one hour 19 hours right generally 19 fours up at least you can go like this 19 fours up 76 76, yeah. uh, in that you have to remove one more backup why right? because till 10 o'clock right you, you just counted okay. 75. Uh, 75 but my question is why 75 why okay. 75 uh, the same question like uh, repeat yes sir then go that like equal yes no mm. and 15 minutes uh, one hour key four lakhs yes, sir. one hour to four lakhs i agreed see let me explain you this one why we are having log backups if we have differential backups you can use differential backup to restore it's not like i'll merge differential and log backups first let me clear you guys might be you are confusing in this point so if you have differential backup till some point of time you can use the differential backup 
from which point you don't have differential backup that point only you have to use the log backups till which point you have good differential backups you can use that differential backups in the differential backups you will get data file and log file changes also so nothing to worry till what point you are having good differential backup every 4 hours means till 8 pm you will have good differential backup right yeah so you can restore up to 8 pm right you can restore the differential backup up to 8 pm right so how much data it is missing how much data it is missing how hmm. much data is missing guys till 8 pm you are having good data one hour 1 no, hour 1 hour 49 how many log backups will be generated in 1 hour 45 minutes 1 hour 4 4 lakh 4 plus 7 7 seven. Seven log backups now tell me what is the answer i don't know why you people are okay uh, struggling in calculating like this very simple if you have differential backup if you have a good differential backup okay you can use that differential backup to restore till that point from which point you don't have differential backups you can use that no. time for the log backups whatever time you don't have differential backup that point you can use to restore the log that 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 data that 1 hour 45 minutes data you can achieve with the help of the seven log backups so one full backup that is 3 am full backup one full backup you have to use to restore one differential backup which differential backup we have to use guys 8 pm 8 pm is the recent 8 one 8 pm differential backup so one full one one differential how many log backups seven seven, seven. log backups 8 pm to 9:45 9:49 but i don't have 9 till 9:45 5 9:49 right till 9:45 i have how many till 9:45 seven log backups so now how much data you are going to miss till 9:45 you recovered the database how much data you are still missing Four minutes data means you you just recover the database till the maximum that you can till nine forty five only four minutes data you just missed that also we can achieve using another backup. Everyone got this point, guys? Any issues? Any doubts here? Sir, it is clear. So let me check your answers. Log one. But sir, it is nine forty nine p.m. Sir, evening nine forty five forty nine. Nine forty nine. Then what happened? Evening time. Evening only. Evening, evening only. I said nine forty five, nine forty nine p.m. Mm -hmm. Evening nine forty nine means nine forty nine p.m. only, right? Yes. Seven long sir. Let me check. Okay, so Giri, consider your answer. Okay, why? Because you already typed after this discussion. Uh, Durga one full three differential Durga. Why three differential? Always, always, always differential means only one. that is a recent differential backup if you said three differential backup the interview will tell you okay my hr will get back to you there is no more further questions okay i confused sir so i get three that's answers that's what if you, if you if you if you confused there is a shortcut what is the shortcut always if anyone asked how many differential backups your answer should be one recent differential backup okay as you will confuse as you people are going to confuse that's why i gave you the shortcut if anyone asked how many differential backup always one full backup always one recent differential backup there is no confusion here whatever time might be whatever date might be if anyone asked how many differential backups always your answer is one recent differential backup okay 76 log backups that is completely wrong sanjya full backup up to 3 pm no 3 pm and at that day and differential backup one that is 8 pm Okay, six log backups. Okay, you are somewhat close, Sanjay. Okay, seven log backups. Now you clear. You are clear, right, Sanjay? Six or seven log backups. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I am clear now. Okay, Durga one full backup and whatever answers are there, you give Durga. But okay, I'll, I'll appreciate it. But that's okay. Okay, it's also wrong answer. One full backup, one differential backup, twenty-seven log backups. That is also wrong answer. So Kacha and one full backup plus one differential backup plus thirty-nine log backups up to nine forty-five. So why can't I any thirty nine log backups? Any reason? I thought uh, differential backup has taken at twelve. Twelve. Oh. Okay. Okay. Fine. So now you are clear, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. Very good. Isha full backup at three a.m. Differential backup at eight p.m. Seven log backup. Super Isha. Isha, I guess she understood this correctly. Okay. Uh, 
Shahana 1 full backup 3M, 1 differential backup 8PM, log backup from 3AM to 945. Again, Shahana did mistake. So, if we have correct differential backup, we don't need from 3AM to 945. We have correct differential backup till 8PM. So, from that missing time, 8PM to 945 only, you have to use the log backups. Sri Lakshmi 3AM full backup, 8PM, 1 differential backup, 7 log backups. Good Sri Lakshmi. 71 FB, 1 DB, 1 log. What is this 1 FB, 1 DB, 7 log? 1 full backup, 1 differential backup okay. and uh, 7 log backups. Okay, very good. Don't tell the answer like this in the entry. Okay, FB means you might thought it's a Facebook backup. Okay, 1 FB, 1 full backup, 1 differential backup, 1 7 log backups. Okay, very good. Okay, this is also correct. Venkat, 76 log backups. Only you mentioned 76 log backups. You don't restore full and uh, differential backups, Venkat. Only log backups are enough, huh? to restore uh, no, no. without the uh, full and uh, without full backup especially without full backup i cannot restore log backups okay That's right so guys can anyone tell me any other answer other than this there is a, another answer also is there for this differential backups are optional so now tell me one more answer is there for the same question question is same one more answer is there can anyone tell me You can... log backups uh, mm -hmm. uh, now tell me the count i want the count how many backups what and all backups you this is a pakka interview back question that's why i'm, I'm almost i'm almost taking a, okay uh, 30 minutes on the same question this is a pakka interview question now tell me type your answer in the chart okay how many full backups how many log backups Come on guys, I'm waiting. Okay. You are doing same mistake again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, 70, 76 differential backups, huh? Oh, sorry, sir, it was long backup. Okay. Okay, guys, okay. The answer is one full backup and 76 log backups that we have already discussed, okay? Just now we counted. Fine, so the answer is one full backup. If you don't have different, then immediately we will ask this question also. Imagine if I don't have differential backup, how many log backups I have to restore. So you should be ready for these two questions, two strategies, okay? So that's it for now. Uh, we'll connect in the evening at 6 p.m., guys, okay? So... Sir, I have one doubt. Yes, please. Is log backup means log file backup only? Correct. Log backup means only log file backup. Log file means uh, then committed only it will goes to the all, data all 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 committed and uncommitted transactions that's why i said already we discussed any backup will take all the data committed transactions and uncommitted transactions right clear fine that's it for now guys we'll connect in the evening okay thank you